Good morning. One of the hallmarks of modern day cancer therapy is the advent of the multidisciplinary approach to patient care. And what this involves is each and every specialty that is involved in the patient's care coming to the table and bringing forward their very best tools and then having a robust discussion guidance, guided by the very latest evidence basis to come up with a tailor-made treatment plan for the patient. What microwave tumor ablation does is it gives interventional radiology and interventional oncology yet another cutting edge tool to bring to that table to offer patients minimally invasive and highly targeted treatment options. What microwave energy is, is a form of electromagnetic energy that generates heat. So treatment is by generating heat to burn or ablate the abnormal cells. The energy is guided by a small antenna which is guided into the organ such as the liver or the lung where the abnormal tissue or abnormal lesion is located. Electromagnetic energy is then generated which burns the tissue localized to the area of concern. So the advantages of microwave tumor ablation are it is minimally invasive. So these procedures are often done under local anesthetic and as day case procedures. This then opens up this treatment option to other patients who may not have been suitable for open surgery, either because of the location of the tumor or because of other underlying medical problems. The other advantage is that it is highly targeted, so the heat that is generated is confined to the area of interest and it limits the amount of damage that happens to the surrounding tissues. So, microwave tumor ablation, a minimally invasive treatment option, highly targeted, and it gives interventional radiology another cutting edge tool to bring to the fore in modern day cancer therapy. So, this is a case uh, that we used to highlight the utility of microwave tumor ablation. This is a case of an 85 year old female patient with a history of metastatic colonic carcinoma. So on the first image, I'm showing uh, the image of a CT guided biopsy which was undertaken to confirm that this was indeed a metastatic lesion. Microwave tumor ablation was then undertaken shortly thereafter. The second image shows post ablation chest radiographic features of some atelectasis and patchy consolidation in the area of uh, treatment. The third image, which was done approximately six weeks after treatment, demonstrated some evolving post-ablation soft tissue changes, but no enhancing measurable tumor. The fourth image was a CT pulmonary angiogram, which was obtained approximately 21 months after tumor ablation, which showed some organizing post-treatment fibrosis, but no features of residual active disease or progressive disease, and a chest radiograph acquired approximately 21 months post-treatment, demonstrated essentially normal chest radiographic appearances with no features of tumor recurrence or new lung metastases.